Kids, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows multiple fetal anomalies, including fetal ascites, fetal idonephrosis, pericardial fusion, and dilated brain ventricles. You can see the fetal head, and it shows mild dilatation of the fetal brain ventricles. The later ventricle is prominent, but no, not much dilated. The choroid plexus is prominent, as you, you will see later on. So, now you can see the choroid plexus, the prominent ecogenic area in the left later ventricle. Then there is fetal ascites, fetal idonephrosis, pericardial effusion, and you can see the fetal abdomen, the liver. Now you can see the fetal cardiac activity, and pericardial effusion is seen. The pericardial effusion can be found isolated or associated with different abnormalities described in the literature. The incident is of about 0.064 to 2 percent. It is necessary to perform complete comprehensive fetal study ultrasound to rule out the different causes to which it is associated. Now you can see the liver, ascites is, is also visible, the free fluid, this is the free fluid, fetal ascites, fetal ascites refers to the accumulation of free fluid in the fetal abdomen, it is often considered under the same spectrum of Adobe's fetalis. Isolated fetal ascites is most often caused by intra-abdominal disorders due to genitourinary or gastrointestinal conditions of which obstructive uropathy is the most common cause and 20% are due to gastrointestinal disorders. Ascites in pregnancy can be due to many conditions. The most common one is preeclampsia and it is associated with protein urea 2. Now you can see the right kidney, it is ecomeconormal, but the left kidney shows moderate to severe hydronephrosis. This is the left kidney. The severity of the fetal idonephrosis depends on how large the kidney has ballooned and the extent of its blockage. If not corrected, it can cause kidneys to lose its ability to make urine. True idonephrosis is therefore a major concern. Potential causes of fetal idonephrosis include Blockage or narrowing of the ureters, the tubes that carry urine from the kidney to the bladder, urinary reflex which causes urine to flow backwards into the ureters. Now the most common cause of fetal idonephrosis is ureteropelvic junction obstruction. This finding is characterized by varying degrees of fetal pelvic dilatation. The most common cause of obstruction is narrowing of the proximal ureter. You can see the spines of the fetus. Ascites in pregnancy can be due to many conditions. The most common one is preeclampsia as it is associated with protein urea 2. 
ascites and the pregnancy could be seen as fluid as an aquatic space on ultrasound ascites is seen as low density collection surrounding the bowel and ct scan bowel loops float interiorly ascites is seen earlier earliest in the pelvis due to its dependent position in the recto vesical or vagina vesical pouch you can see the face of the fetus so the most uh, antenatal hydronephrosis that is fluid pale enlargement of the kidney can be detected in a, in a fetus by ultrasound as early as first trimester of the pregnancy during pregnancy this condition is identified in 1% of males and half percent of the females you can see the posterior the placenta it is posteriorly attached thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching